More markets, the BRVM index has traded in positive territory since Monday and may be set to close out the week with gains of over 1%. Now, for more on the market sentiment and earnings expectations, I'm now being joined online by Nelly Fofana, financial analyst at SGI Hudson and Company. Thank you so much. Nelly for joining us now obviously the BRVM index has had a good run so far this week now what would you say have been the key drivers um, actually the key drivers are the um, good expectations for the semester results um, the BRVM composite is up 0.82 percent and uh, the top three winning stocks were early keyed up 4 percent on low volumes um, SGBC um, up 2% after having suffered from uh, down one price pressure on the stock since the social movements in the bank. And we also have Sodeci up 2% on low volumes. Okay, let's talk about expectations ahead of uh, the first quarter earnings. So we've seen about two or three of them half year for this year. Uh, we're looking at uh, mixed numbers, particularly coming from a CFO where we saw sales down 19%. But in terms of general market expectations, is it high or the market is just going to take the numbers as they get them? Um, actually, the, um, globally, the market should, should follow a positive trend, uh, given the economic growth expected at uh, 9% this year. So um, basically, that's um, a positive trend. Now, what stocks or rather uh, sectors you investors continue to see value in going forward? Um, actually, uh, the agro um, processing sector, because the price was down uh, really low due to the um, decrease in uh, um, interest um, in commodities, sorry, prices. And um, so now um, we are now on the um, buy recommendation for uh, agro processing such as Palm C and SAPH. And uh, regarding the banks, uh, we're still on, on um, buy recommendation for uh, SGBCI. And uh, ETI, despite uh, the, the recent events. Well, let's talk about uh, three stocks that have made headlines this week. They're actually the best performing stocks so far. Uh, one of them, uh, Liquid and SGBCI. Now, why have the stocks been so attractive to investors? Um, actually, now, uh, I think um, uh, SGBCI suffered from um, quite of a... Um, a fear from investors because the the employees of the bank were on strike for like the past three months, but they seem to get a um, uh, consensus now, and um, so the stock will be um, continue its growth, uh, I think. And uh, early kid, it's not really significant because it's only on uh, low volumes.